right, here we go. Um, so number three here, what's your A value? What's the A? Two. Two, positive two, right? Okay, is that number positive or negative? Positive. Okay, we're not doing this up or down. So remember, just realize your square root function is gonna go in this direction, right? It's rising from your vertex, not falling. Okay, uh, what's the H value? Isaiah, what's my H? Perfect. And what's my k value? Uh, four. Perfect. Okay. So my vertex is negative four, negative four. All right. So when you plot it, it's going to be here and it's going to be shooting off into this direction. So for those of you that are moving quickly, so for your table, you don't need to go less than negative four because remember, if you go less than negative four, which is negative five, you end up with a negative inside of the radical. We don't want imaginary numbers. That is our n. So you really only need one extra point, but we'll do two of them just to get the body, the curvature of it. So when you're on square root functions, when you get that vertex, that's your stop. Don't go to the left of it. You're going to end up, if you type it in the calculator, you'll get rejected because you have an imaginary. Okay. Um, okay. Is it a max or min point? Remember, in terms of your y, this is the lowest point, so it'll be a min point, min value, right? It's the lowest point on the function. And so what's the lowest value on the y? Negative four. It just so happens they're both the same number, so it's probably a bad example, but yeah, it's always here. Let's let's color code it then. It's the K, right? Okay. Um, no, this. Okay. What's my well let's graph it then. Let's first graph it and we'll we'll do this. So let's do this first. Okay. Uh we could do um, you could, it's whatever you want. We could type negative two and zero. You could, you could do negative three and negative two. You can, it's just whatever number you want, okay? Just make sure it's to the right of the vertex point. All right, you're gonna substitute it. So let's make sure I can see. So two square root, uh, negative two plus four, click out, minus four, and I get, hit SD, right? That's what I got. And so that comes out to negative 1.1. So negative two, negative 1.1 is like right there. And if I type in substitute zero, I get zero. Oh, that was easy. All right, so here's my curve. Oh, zero, zero, sorry. Are you guys okay? Anybody help with the calculator? Here's your square root, right? Two square root, zero plus four, click, minus four, oh wait, no, it didn't register, click out, minus four, there's my zero. Um, it, it's up to you. You can, you can go by one, it's just I knew because, see how that A value is a two? It's growing rapidly, so I just wanted more of the body, so I went further away to kind of get the height. But if otherwise your points would have been like here and, whoops, my bad, here and here. So you would have gotten these two, which is fine, nothing's wrong with it. Yeah. All right, domain and range. Okay, so looking at this. Your domain is your x-axis, your range is your y. Okay, domain, what values are being represented by that function? What's the furthest left? 
that the function is grabbing for the x, that you can substitute for x without going into imaginaries. What the, what's the furthest left number? Negative four. Negative four, right. So bring it up, and you're at a full stop at negative four. So it's negative four to what? Positive infinity, perfect. Because then it, right, that's an arrowhead, so we're going on forever here. So that's your infinity, this is my negative four. Okay, for your range, take that same vertex point, but also you have it here on your minimum value. It's also telling you your minimum is negative four. That's your start. But you can also bring that point, and you can see there's your negative four. And then again, here's an arrowhead, and so you're moving upwards. So what's my range? <laughs> Carla, what's my range? Look at the green. And what's my start? Yes. So, very good. So look, for your range, you start for the y-axis, you start towards the bottom, you pick up your lowest representation, and you move upward. This is your start, your end. For the x, you start from the left. This is your start, this is your end. It's left to right or bottom top. All right, what is my horizontal and vertical shift? Remember, this is off of, it's always, you guys are really good at this, but remember, your parent graph is always at the origin. It starts at zero, zero. Once you start shifting your H and your K, that's really what you're shifting on the horizontal and the vertical shift. So instead of this vertex point being at the origin, my, my square root function shifted how many units horizontally? What direction and how many? So remember, horizontal shift is your h and this is your k. So what's my h? Negative 4, but instead of negative, I want a direction. Left. Perfect. So it went left four units. So instead of it being at zero, zero, I went back four units. And then what's my vertical shift? Down four, Down four because it's negative four. And so instead of being the parent graph being at zero, zero, this function is left four, down four, and that's a new location to the vertex point. And that's why sometimes the vertex point is called a locator point, because instead of it being at zero, zero, the origin, the new location, right? Critical points, locator points. Yeah? Okay, um, I'll stop the video and I'll get you guys another one of these sheets because you guys need two more because there's six on here and there's only four here. And I won't, I won't cut it in half, just, just in case you make a mistake, you can always rewrite it. And then remember, tomorrow I'll have you guys do that um, group sheet. And so, and then um, if you guys finish in time in class, I can give you the answers while we're in class. Otherwise, if some of you want to take it home and kind of go over it, verify it, I can give you the answers on um, Wednesday. All right, but remember, Thursday's the retest, so... Uh, we can add some questions on there just so that if, say, the one you're looking to redo isn't on the paper, then we'll add one.